Hello and welcome back, and as you remember last time we were about to get into Skyrunner. There's not a problem here. What the hell man? You gonna let me in your boat ship? Yeah, okay it works now. Now interesting thing about this, I'm sure a lot of people already know it, but it was called the Skywalker in Japanese, and if you don't know why that was changed what rock have you been living under for the last 40 years? Is it four decent stalls that's been at? Uh, somewhere between 40 and 30. And so we head off. Up into the clouds. There's really not much to talk about. You can just enjoy this nice little scene here. foreshadowing for a later place in the game. It's always nice. It shows you just enough to get you interested. And yet again, another place. So we're just really heading west now, I'm pretty sure. Yep, I just did my never reach shredded wheat to figure out my compass, boys. Using my big boy words. And here we are in the ever familiar freak. Or freed. As you can see, the um, you see, as you can see, quite a lot. So if any of my audience is blind, I'm sincerely sorry. It's honing in on this here. And it takes a while. It's probably a prototype or something. That circus will be important later. And I feel like I've been quiet again, but I don't know why. My mum's downstairs, but she's ironing, and you cannot hear anything from up there, so... Uh, oh well. I'll probably be moving out in the next year when I go to university. So that's nice. Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. The Skyrunner. I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. I don't have to explain a thing, I'm Kevin. I'm, I came because you called me. Not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want to be, to be your friend, okay? Nope. So why did you call me? You just make fun of me? This is just the way I am. But thou must. Yeah, you have to do this. So Kevin already um, proves his usefulness by having something that will help us out of here. I like when games do this when the characters introduced straight away, but they um, you know they'll do something like when you're locked in an area and you meet them and you need their power to get out. <laughs> Remember an example of that when I sort of figured out what they were doing it was in Resident Evil 4 when you first get Ashley. And she's like, Leon, shoot those barrels! And it's like, you, you're not useful, you're not fooling anyone, actually. Let's speak to this woman here. It's been a circus tent at the centre of town for a long time. I saw another tent to the south. I wonder when it went up. Dun, dun, dun. And if you remember from earlier, there was even a sign there that said, No tents allowed. Everyone's running into this place. Now, I'm looking for a certain man. I think I will pause until I find him. Okay, I am recording. That was really weird. The little recording bar just disappeared, so I got deeply confused. Anyway, here's the guy I was talking about. He seems to be an outsider, so I'll fill you in. The truth is, I'm working for the monsters. The humans seem to be losing, so I'm on the zombie side for my own protection. 
zombies leader likes fly honey. He's making us collect it. You know, bees make bee honey, flies make fly honey. The zombie leader is super strong because he always eats the stuff. There's a whole load stored in this tent to the south. I'll deliver it to the do to the day day to the zombie leader soon. This is kind of interesting. I think most of that's the original Japanese text, but in um, Earthbound at least, they really like jazzing up the text to do with um, what's his name, Belch. Like for example, there he'll say instead of he eats the stuff to get stronger, and it's more like. Awkward silence, isn't it? It's more like he eats um, peanut butter and fly honey sandwiches to grow stronger. Anyway, I'm going to um, move some stuff around here and buy some equipment. So I'm getting rid of some stuff basically here. Um, here's some things you probably won't ever need again. Pretty sure you, no, you never need to use the backstitch pass as far as I can remember. Um, she's good to go. Can you ever need to use the bad key machine? And we certainly don't ever need to um, <coughs> feed bubblegum to a monkey ever again. It may be correct, correct, but it's not politically correct, so. Let's see how much money Jeff has acquired for us. And I'm sure he's gone soon. And that's quite nice. A million dollars. You get a new, um, I mean, if you did that thing like trick with selling the items and stuff, you might have been able to get the T Rex back. But I have nowhere near enough time to do that. And another nice offensive boost for Paula here. Vanda, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, hard hat for Kevin, because God knows he can use some more. I don't have enough money, do I? Fantastic. Well, I'll just buy those two, the hard hat and the copper bracelet. I'll be right back. So, with our new equipment in stow, we'll head off to the mystery tent. But, oh wait! We got this way ages ago, I'm pretty sure, in the Apple Kid's house. Well, as we know now, Kevin can fix these. So, we'll just give this to Kevin. The next time we rest at a um, hotel, oh, zombie dogs! We should be able to get some nice new booty. Oh dear God, why? Okay, so Bonda's gonna die this turn, <laughs> unless I can buy some miracle. Just pray. Just pray. That's, that's the only way we're getting out of this, to be honest. And Kevin's not too good either. No! Oh, wow! Lonza is a martyr. Well, that could have could not have gone more horrendously, really. Um, actually, I suppose this is sort of a blessing in disguise as, in terms of this actual let's play, as I've yet to visit this hospital yet. And actually, thinking more and more about it, this is quite an important hospital, and I'll go into that later. Um, yeah, because we're true friends. I didn't know that was the. Well, no one's ever fought to buy zombies back. I'm pretty sure there's something special here. The zombies get me. I should have gotten some zombie insurance. I'm sure that's a thing in Eagleland. Important. Anyway, I'm going to go rest up at a hotel ready for our big face off engaged. A living tent. Bless his heart. Unfortunately, Kevin did not fix anything through the night. 
and you might be thinking this is a bit of an expensive way to get an item that might not even be useful and there's only a small chance of getting it. I think it's um, 1 in 4 each time. But later on in the game there are places where um, you can just basically stay again and again for no cost. So put some music on, just keep doing that and eventually you will get attacked by a dog. Right, now we're having our revenge. Um, ice to see you! Kevin hasn't really got any items we can use right now, so I guess we'll just shoot this dog. No, he, he got a bit to it. That's not good news. That's not good news to him. Right. So now, we face off against... The tent. The Gaurg. It's quite a sophisticated tent, I must say. Booby trent. I guess that's kind of like booby trap. It's trying to be funny. Did good. Um, I know one of these isn't very effective against his tent, and one of them is. So I'm going to go with fire. Um, we'll break out the bot rocket in a few years. <laughs> in a few years. In a few tents. For now, I'll show off spy. That's a pretty respectable amount, I think we'll stick with that. Vulnerable to PK fire. God damn it. I have one of these like bots on MSN that I'm not even sure how to delete. My girlfriend knows how, but I don't. And um there's always like some naked woman picture. It's like oh god damn it, my sluts have shown up again. Okay, yeah, I'm glad nothing happened that time. Oh god, Kevin really is not doing anything here, is he? Tut tut, Kevin, I expected better of you. Oh well, just to speed this up a bit, and and because he isn't really doing anything. Let's shoot a bottle rocket at him. Yeah, if that guy flashed me, I think I'd try to. Tell. If you want a fair, balanced experience of Earthbound, don't buy bottle rockets. As they completely destroy every boss. But I did it for educational purposes, so it's okay. And we're getting a lot of level ups here. This is um, pleasing to my eye. The entire tent, tent disappears around him. There's a jar of fly honey! And the sign has been upholded again. Thank you for that. I wasn't talking to you. And if we look at the description here, see in Japanese it's just like Belch's favourite food. It kind of stinks. Whereas in English they add a little bit more fun of it. Fly honey, Belch's most favourite fruit in the whole world. However, it smells really, really bat nasty. We're talking major stinkage here. I'm not sure why they splashed out so much on that guy, but mm, I can't complain. Hello. Hello, this is Applekid. I just wanted to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it will help you or not. It's called zombie paper, and it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like fly paper. What you need to do is place the paper on the floor of the tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, right? Then the zombies get stuck to the paper, and they move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, I just asked the Mark Pizza delivery man to deliver zombie paper to you, Di. You should get it pretty soon. I've never actually seen a zombie, but if there, are re there really are any, zombie paper would be very useful. I'll be calling you, you if I come up with anything else. Click beep. So I think as we're used to by now, um, Apple Kid just seems to know, I've already spoke to this guy, know exactly what you need. Oh, 
I was delivering pizza, and this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver this to someone named Dai, who was wandering around Freak. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Dai, and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello Dai. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Dai, no matter what. <laughs> it makes it so much funnier that he's talking to Vonda right now. Apple Kid's thing magic. I don't want to know. Excellent five-star service, as you can see. One thing that they neglect to mention in Earthbound is that, well, I wouldn't have known this if I didn't read um, Tomato's Guides, but flypaper here, or zombie paper, I should say, because that's what it is. <laughs> it's actually a machine as well, sort of like um, sending a signal to the zombies, making them come towards it. It's not just, you know, sticky paper on its own. You can do whatever you want, just save my life. Truly a noble hero. She gonna use this tent as a trap. And I always thought the flight, uh, <coughs> zombie paper, it was like, had like a nice smell for zombies or something. Oh well. Yeah, we talked to all these and they all pretty much say the same thing. It's like, well, well, well I guess it would work. So, I hope this is how you do it because yeah, place this on the floor. Hey, hey, hey. Fat Abbott. No! Yes, I'm a coward and I will not take fights to the back. I'm going to skip this out. And when I'm back, we'll have slept in the hotel because this is what you need to do next. After we sleep in the hotel, all the zombies are like, hmm, what's that stank? Let's go, ch let's go check it out. Even the ones that were blocking there. See, what we're doing isn't completely useless. Because who wants to save the lives of everybody in Freak anyway, right? So, we will go and see. What is happening in the tent? Next episode!